Okay, as you can see, I have three royal flushes on the table. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of mix these since they were in order, <laughs> if you notice that. Okay, that. And then if you were here, I would have you tell me how to randomly stack these piles of six cards each. That would be just fine. Okay. And then if also if you're here, I'd have you just uh, cut the cards if you would like to. Or I can just perform a Charlie shuffle. That would be just fine. And then we're going to deal out the cards into five piles. Here we go. Five piles of three. You're free to have these picked up in whatever order you would like. You want this one here, far right, far left, the one on the right now, and then the one right there. That's just fine. Go ahead and freely cut it or Charlie shuffle it if you like. Um, now, really, to mix the cards uh, sufficiently, why don't we go ahead, and you're, you're making all the choices here. Would you like left on right, or you want right on left? Okay. Now, when you go to perform this, I want you to know that you can perform as many left-right shuffles as the spectator calls for. You truly can. Okay. So maybe we'll just do three of them. You don't fall asleep here. Okay, maybe right on, and with random stacking. I guess I should point that out as well. Okay, and then a surely a shuffle. Um, you can also do what's called a an even or odd up jog. Now, if you've seen this before, this is an even up jog where you jog forward the even position cards with random stacking decided by the spectator. Maybe right on left. Okay. Then we can do a Charlie shuffle or just cut the packet randomly as dictated by the spectator. Okay, and then to finish, what we're going to do is we're going to deal out the cards into three piles. Okay, so we'll have like a, a player one, I guess me in the middle, and then player two here. Now, ordinarily, so let's just begin doing that. Ordinarily, we would just do left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, and that's something we can do. Um, but if you'd like to mix it up and go from right to left at any point, let me know. So player one, do you want me to deal left to right again or right to left? You want left to right again, okay? Player two over here, what would you like? Right to left? Okay, player one, left to right. Boy, you really like left to right, don't you? Player two, you want left to right as well. Okay, very good. So I guess we did, we did just one right to left, and that's fine. Okay, so player one, here's your little packet of five. Uh, here's mine, and then player two over here. Okay, so take a look at your hand and place your bets. Okay, well, let's just see what player one has. Okay, let's see what player one has. Oh, I've got a pair. <laughs> uh, not super great. I mean, there's something there. Okay. So they may not be super happy. Uh, what about player two over here? Uh, what did they get? They got a pair as well, a pair of aces. Well, what did that leave me with as the dealer? Let's just check and see if we got king, queen. Oh, wow. Take a look at that. A royal flush in clubs. Wow. How in the world did we do that working together? Now, of course, your choices led to this kind of disastrous result for you. So I apologize for that. Um, but <laughs> sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay. Now, when you go to perform this, if you perform everything I just did, it will work. And I, I do want to be honest here. For my hand, the very best I can do happened to be what I did here. It was just serendipity. I did get a royal flush in clubs or, or one of the suits. Okay, so that's like the best outcome. So you made some great choices for me, not for you, for, for me. Uh, but at the very least, what you're going to finish with as the performer, you're going to finish with a royal straight, no matter what. So um, I was actually expecting a royal straight here, but there's the potential of a royal flush, which is what we got. Now, the two players, uh, what they will get, they'll get a single pair each, or each will get a double pair. That's the best they can do. So all of this can be done just as I showed you. 
The only caveat is when I'm dealing out the final three piles, one, two, three, and I turn to the players and say, would you like me to deal out left to right again or maybe right to left to mix things up? To be able to guarantee that you win as the performer, you need to do at least one dealing in each direction. And that's what happened in the performance. I think I did four from left to right and then I did one from right to left, okay? So as long as you do one of those, you will finish here with either a royal straight and they'll have a pair or two pairs, maybe. Um, or possibly you can finish with a royal flush, okay? It will really depend on like how many left-right deals, how those are stacked, how it's cut. You know, when I did the Charlier shuffle, that affects things. Uh, but you are guaranteed to win as long as you do at least one dealing, the, the final dealing from left to right, and then at least one other dealing from right to left. Okay. And then the other dealings can be whatever direction the spectator calls for. Okay, so that's the only caveat. I, I didn't want people to not be aware of that. So you have to have at least one time that you go in each direction. So anyway, this is a, a fun effect. It uses a number of amazing principles taught on the Absolute Math Magic channel that you may want to check out. But this is a fun one because it really does seem to be perfectly fair. And the spectator is making so many important decisions that truly affect the ordering of the cards. And it truly affects who gets what cards. But if you follow the guidelines I've just given you, you are guaranteed to have the best hand among these three. So thank you for watching and I hope you will take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.